Hey guys and welcome back to the video today we're back on Azerite RSPS and before we jump in I'm gonna be giving away three chests of greatness if you guys would like to enter don't forget to do is like the video subscribe to the channel comment right here and also turn on post notification bell and let's jump into the video so today we have a starter guide on how to get started on Azerite RSPS the first step that you want to do is vote call call vote and that will give you a free tier 3 mystic set including the weapon as well which is super OP and it's also a AoE set which basically means that you can do damage you know over a big area you can kill several npcs all at once there are also very very juicy referral goats that you can find in the discord and those are call call and ref free box call call and ref release 2 call call and ref free donor and call call and ref 83745 and as you guys can see those will give you a very very juicy rewards which will uh, just, you know, boost your starter game by just, you know, so much. And you will also get a door to rank as well, which will allow you to use Control B, which opens up the bank, and other benefits as well. And you will get this for free, just for hopping online and using draft codes. So it's super nice. And also you will get a battle pass as well. You will get a free golden battle pass, which has some insane rewards, as you guys can see. Super, super insane rewards. And you will get this battle pass for free. You don't even have to pay for it. You can just get it through the ref codes. So after you have done that, you want to go and complete five easy slayer tasks. And under the progression manager, which is also a very, very important part of Azerite, you will be able to claim a lucky glaive after you have done that. And there are a lot of different uh, rewards you can claim from the progression manager. So yeah, just keep checking it. Whenever you get a new achievement, you can claim some rewards from that. And the rewards from that are just super nice. Then after you've done that, there are uh, pretty much three options that you can choose from to keep grinding. First off is to progress through zones with your AoE until the Mystic Staff becomes too weak to one-hit enemies. Then you will also do raids. You will have uh, sufficient gear to do raids at least the first raid, which is the Kingdom Heart raid, which gives you keys which you can either sell or you can open them and try to get a Oath Key per key raid, which is also an AoE weapon. And lastly is the Gundam, which is a uh, global boss which spawns every single minute and that will give you Gundam items as you guys can see right here I also got Gundam wings as well from just a few kills I got super lucky and you can sell those items as well for money and then the main things that you're working towards are a Tommy gun, the Azerite glaive and an Oathkeeper and once you have a Oathkeeper you can continue doing your zone grinds because the rewards for completing all of these zones are just so OP especially towards the end you can get like tier 8 items and also some juicy mystery boxes as well or some caskets and once you have all three attack styles you can start working on completing different raids such as kingdom hearts 2 teenage mutant ninja turtles raid and the smash raids from the teenage mutant ninja turtles raid you can get a best insult pet called minimi which allows you to put the items onto it and that will help you kill bosses and npcs which is super super op kingdom hearts 2 raid will give you the oblivion keyblade hilt as well as the screwdriver pet and the battle mage armor set that is used for various upgrades within the game and smash raids offers faith and bowser gear which is used for various armor upgrades in the game and can sell for a decent penny as well and there are also other global bosses as well other than the gundam for example the man ray also the vault bosses which you want to look out for you can get really lucky with those and make some very very good money but I mean, I really stuff opening chests. I don't really like selling my keys. As you guys can see, I opened up some keys right there. But I mean, yeah, overall, it's very, very easy to get started on Azerite. The ref goals will help you a lot. Voting will help you a lot as well. Doing Slayer tasks is also very, very OP. You can unlock different Slayer monsters as well that you can kill for very, very good gear upgrades. And if you guys have not hopped online, the link to play is in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.